Hey, happy Thursday. How are you? Um, how was your week? I hope it was great. Mine was really good. Um, definitely better than last week. Oh, gosh. I watched that video, and I felt like I was like, Ugh, a little bit <laughs> drained, but things have definitely gone up this week. So thanks for all your, you guys were so kind and just said nice things and encouraged me, and it really helped me. But anyway, um, my list. Are you ready for it? Okay, so the first thing that I've been loving this week is the, the TV show Perfect Couples. Uh, I don't know if you've watched it. It was, let's see, I think it's been on for like a couple months. I think there's like 12 episodes or something like that. And I think they might have canceled it, which makes me so sad. But they just released like all the episodes on Hulu so you can watch like the whole season, if you can call it that. Um... And it's just, oh gosh, it's so funny. It's making Bob and I laugh so hard. It's about three different couples and just kind of their relationship together. So it's like a sister and she's married. And so she's, her brother and his wife are in the show. And then the husband has his best friend and her, his fiance, I think it is. So um, I don't know if that just made sense or not. But <laughs> if you watch the show, you'll get it. Um, it's just, oh gosh, it's just making us laugh so hard. We're really enjoying it. But they just released all the episodes on Hulu to watch. Um, you guys should go watch it and then tell NBC not to cancel it because that show is awesome. Um, yeah, I like, it's just a little sitcom. It's not a reality show. Um, and I like sitcoms. I don't like, I don't like, you know, anything. I don't really like dramas on TV. I kind of just want to be entertained. It's, I mean, it's so shallow, I know. It's like, I only like chick flicks too. Isn't that hilarious? Okay. The second thing on my list, <coughs> excuse me. Second thing on my list is this necklace. You guys have been seeing me wear it a ton lately. I feel like maybe I'm not, I'm even holding back on you because I don't want you to judge me for how much I've been wearing it. But I just love it. It's a, it's from Anthropology, And I think what I love about it is that uh, there's nothing else like it. Like, I've worn it, and I've tried to link to something close to it in my posts, and I just, I have not found anything else like it. And I'm just really liking that it's different from what everybody else has, and that, um, you know, it's just, it's well-made, it's a quality piece, I can have it for a long time. I've just been thinking a lot lately, I don't know what's gotten into me, but I've been thinking a lot lately about Ha investing in quality pieces so that I'll have them for the rest of my life or I can pass them on to my daughters or something like that. Um, so I don't know what you think about that. Let me know what you think. I mean, I'm totally into cheap clothes. I, I shop at H&M and Forever 21 and they have some, I mean, they've got some great stuff, but it's just, I know it's not going to last me forever. So I've kind of been intrigued by the thought of buying things that I know are going to last a really long time that look good, they're well made, and you know, that will still, I won't be embarrassed that I was wearing them in, <laughs> in 30 years or less, in 10 years. So, um, yeah, my necklace, I'm loving it. Um, okay, the last thing is, I don't know, you can probably see the display in my house of all these plants. We are plant people. Really, it's my husband, I'm not gonna lie. He totally has a green thumb. Like, he keeps plants alive. He, I mean, there are plants that we have that die, and he somehow brings them back to life. I don't understand how it happens. But um, we, uh, yeah, we just have a ton of plants. My husband told me that if, if he had it his way, I wouldn't be able to see the ceiling. <laughs> Is that hilarious? Um, so that kind of speaks to how he feels about plants. Um, we realized that, you know, our... The, the world, the air is polluted. Everywhere you go, it doesn't matter where you are, but plants clean the air. So when you're like in the middle of a forest, it's like the most pure air you can get because it's coming directly from the trees. It's just, oh, it's so wonderful. So when we moved into this house, it was brand new, which was amazing. We got to, you know, pick out our cabinet colors and all that stuff, our carpet. And um, it was great because it was brand new, but you know, there's just a ton of chemicals that go into all that stuff. Do you know they put formaldehyde in, like, carpet and stuff like that? Formaldehyde! That's, like, weird, isn't it? <laughs> so, my husband found out that wool sucks up formaldehyde, so if you, we got a bunch of wool blankets and we laid them around, we're kind of like, I don't know, we, we, we tend to like the, to take the natural route and 
be healthy in the natural way, in the natural sense, instead of taking medicine. But so we're trying to prevent like any kind of whatever stuff from happening. So so he got wool to suck up the formaldehyde, and then he got a ton of plants. So um, and since we have a house now, we can um, put plants in our yard. So we have a bunch of plants. Bob went back to the garden, which is kind of further away from our house, and brought this back and stuck it in the kitchen. I mean, is this cute or what? It's just basil. I think it looks so cute. But anyway, in our front yard, we put up some gladiolas. Gladiolas. Look at these. So they, they got filled up with water since they, like, open, you know, kind of like this. They got filled up with the water, and they collapsed. The branch broke, so Bob brought it inside so we could enjoy it. Look at these white ones. Oh, aren't they pretty? I love them. So um, that's pretty much what I've been enjoying this weekend. Um, perfect couples, my necklace, and the flowers that have been in my house. Just brightening my day. I just love it. So anyway, um, have a great weekend. Have a great 4th of July. Ooh, it's 4th of July. I forgot. <clears throat> okay. Bob and I started dating in the summer, and it was like, I think our, we, like, officially started dating on June 29th. It was like, we had this big, long talk, and then, because we were friends before, we had this big, long talk, and then we just decided we were dating. That was it. And then we got married a year later. Isn't that great? So, we started dating, and we got married, like, in the summertime. It's like 4th of July. I just, it's like my favorite holiday just because it reminds me of so many wonderful memories. I like it better than Christmas. Is that bad? Is that wrong? I don't think so. So, um, happy 4th of July. Enjoy your whole weekend. You get an extra day off. You get, a, you get to barbecue and make s'mores and all kinds of fun stuff. So, anyway... Bye.